Okay, hello Zion. Welcome to NIBA Student Tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to show you um, uh, how to set your Gmail account to Microsoft Outlook. You know, when you're using Gmail, to regular Gmail, the way you really want to type your letters, you manage your office as a private or small businesses, and you know, it looks so hard, difficult, and the way you want to do it uniquely. I want to show you, you can take your private Gmail and put it to your computer all over. It's very good Microsoft account. It can make your work unique, very nice. Listen to me step by step, just follow the instruction, you will see how you going to do it. So now, the, the first thing you will open your Outlook. Outlook, Microsoft Outlook. As you click the Outlook, you open Microsoft Outlook with login. And uh, as you open, you can also, in the, as the process is taking time to open, you can also open your Gmail. Okay, this is my Gmail, Google Gmail. This is my Google Gmail account. And uh, my, my Gmail is already open. You see that? You see that? You can, you can open this. So now, uh, as you open the Gmail, as you open the Gmail, now the Gmail account is open. So all of also so is about to open. The first thing Microsoft Outlook, so welcome to Microsoft Outlook 2016. So I use in 2016. It can be any other versions. It, it will work the same way. So the first one is select next. And uh, you click um, next years. Now they tell you what to account, how do you want to set an account? I don't want for you to go with this. If you want to go with it, I mean you you have a website where your company is connected, you have a Gmail, special Gmail is given to you. That's why you can use any that Gmail, corporation Gmail, institutional Gmail, and what I call email, you can use that. But I advise you that I send a G, uh, pra, uh, public Gmail you're trying to use, select this one, manual setup. If you click the manual setup, and uh, if you click the manual setup, select less. As you click next, and you know, uh you slide it, they say all oh, over or I change several activities, it's not slide that. And I select this one, pop or armor. You click to the armor, pop or armor. You click to the pop or armor, now you slide next. The dial box will open when they open. And uh, the first thing is uh, they say your username. So if you check here, my username to the to the email here, uh, my username here. It is a uh, list tutorials. We have LRB list tutorial. That is my username, LRB list tutorial. So we're going to click all of. We go here, LRB and uh, list tutorial. List tutorial. So we're going to start that. The next one is. We check here, they say, the, the ISO, what do you want? Our Gmail. Your Gmail that you have here, you can easily copy this, if you want, you can copy it, and uh, or you type it, you type inside right here. Are we seeing it? You say Control V, you paste it. Now they ask you here, this one, account type, do not select this one, pop, pop three. Select the arm up, select the arm up, and uh, yeah, you can slide the arm up, arm up. If you click the arm up, come to incoming server. So incoming server, type arm up. You type the arm up. You see arm up, doc, and uh, Gmail. Because it's Gmail we're trying to call, right? Doc, doc com. And I have my Gmail account. Select this one, it says, Ongoing server SMTP, so you have to select the SM, SMT, SMTP dot uh, Gmail account because the Gmail we're trying to conf configure, and, you know. So you say Gmail account, SMTP dot Gmail account. It's a Gmail. It's a we're trying to configure. The next one is uh, here. We can place a Gmail password. Let me show you, let me type my Gmail password, you see what will happen. It will now open. So I'm going to type my Gmail password here. And 
So I type my Gmail password. But you have to come to the setting here. This is this area is a move setting. Where you have move setting, you click here to move setting. And then dialog box open. You know, <coughs> and then dialog box open. You have to select this uh, ongoing server. You click the ongoing server. You check my the my ongoing server is MS SMTP with guy at the configuration. You click that. If you click that, you come to advanced setup. You click the advanced setup. You use this one SSL. As you click the XSL, you come by SSL authentication. That's for security. So here, you change it 25 in order uh, to 465. You dial the 465 there. From there, you select OK. And you know, uh, when you select the OK, you you select the OK. Now after that, you just say next. See what happened. The problem is from the Allo. Allo can give us a very beautiful problem now. Mm -hmm. I look, Microsoft I look. It's coming. This uh, this is coming to create from the problem, as you see. So now we, in the process, as it developing the problem, we come right here. No, so you come right here. So the problem is, I know responding. The internet is a is a problem. So now you're gonna respond. <coughs> so I will tell you you have to go to this place to your image Gmail you come to this area you select my account as you click my account you you wait as you click my account see my account the other is open so when this area is open you under my account you have to select this area security you click your security you know, sometimes it can be to the left hand corner, but from my machine, is in it? You say your Amazon server wants to, to allow you to the foreign applications. That's what they are saying. So we go to Gmail. See what happened to all of, uh, See what happened to Microsoft. All of. You say enter your username and password. It is my username, it is my password. But server name, everything. But they are saying that it's not going. So I click again. Hello. It's still not going. So what I'm going to do now. I go into carry you to Gmail. I'm gonna carry to Gmail. Gmail right under the security here. We have another area here, two step verification, app and setting. And then we say app password. Okay, app password. I'm not seeing it here. I'm not seeing it. If you don't see it in, in the in your security group, I'm gonna show you another easy way to search for it. Don't worry. So there's an area here. Where you click into the search bar, this search bar, you click right here, you say app, app, yes, just type app, app, definitely Microsoft. Okay, now Google brought it. This is a app password, app password. I say you click with that app password. If you click to the app password, if you click to the app password, they say you should log in as a security and blah blah. So say yes, no problem, and you uh, log in automatic. You're gonna open. You're gonna open. So now the app password is open. So now Gmail is still telling us that it is not correct. So we'll, we're going to come here. See my under the app name here. So we're going to cancel the Gmail under the app name. So I come in. We come here, we say cancel. We say the login server fail. We say mm, cancel. We're going to tell her that it's working. We say close. So here, we're going to change the password from here. And as long as we change the password, we're going to work the root. Right. So you have here. So you come back to Gmail to add password. So you type the window. We say window computer. You can use L1. You can use L1 is there as your choice. This is a window computer, so we click create. Now you're going to create this automatic password for this automatic password is what you're going to use to log into your system. You're going to use any word in the world, you can use it. So you come right here, you highlight it. You right click and copy this. So
So from there now you come back to this is your outlook. You come back here to outlook. So here you type here. You delete this and you print so V, you paste that password. So now when we click here, definitely we're going to open Microsoft Word and we're going to use it and we'll enjoy and cry. Just watch. I click next. See what happened. It's a they correct it. Definitely Microsoft correct it. Complete. The next one is server test message complete. That means everything is alright. It's very easy. You can use it to, to lock in any servers if you want. So please subscribe to my channel so I will do the work for you. So now you can click click close. And you say finish. Now Microsoft Windows is finally open. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe to my channel so I can be able to produce more videos for you. And it's based on our uh, yeah, thank you. Now you see most of the videos, uh, most of the, the emails that are coming, you see it connected. If you check to my all you see it connected. It's, it's now tracking all the emails from my Gmail to Microsoft Outlook. That's why they're doing now. See this connected. You have it, you have it, you have it, you have it. So you are 100% welcome to use the system as your choice in the time you want. But if you have some other questions, on some of the technical issues you can contact me so we can also or you can comment to start about so we can help to improve our system.